MDisk, the new standard in digital storage, the world's first disk to last up to 1,000 years. So what's going on here? Do we have a disk that can last up to 1,000 years? Well, let's find out. So a little bit about this disk. If you read the Wikipedia page, the French National Laboratory for Metrology and Testing found out that this disk performed the same as other DVDs that you burn. And the inventor, Milleniata, seemed to have gone bankrupt. So I wanted to know what was going on. And is this a false claim? And can I get my money back? So I thought I'd investigate. So here's the disc. And it does actually say Milleniata on the disc there. The disc is partially see-through. Okay. So I've linked the, the French report below. But also, the United States Air Force, no, sorry, the United States Naval Air Warfare Center released a much more detailed report on this disc and other discs. And according to their report, none of the M-Disc DVDs lost any data at all. And every other brand and manufacturer lost data or became completely unreadable. Um, so they have a, a report also linked below with some interesting photos. Here's a photo I'll patch in showing some of their test setup. So it's pretty interesting. So it turns out the patents for MDisc are still being licensed by some manufacturers like LG and Hitachi and Ritec. And manufacturers like LG are making modern burners to support this sort of disc, which need a bit more of a higher output to burn this sort of disc. I dug out my Blu-ray burner, and there it is. I got this second hand off eBay a long time ago. It's got ticks, so it tells me that it works. However, this model I found out is a BH-10 LS30. Doesn't support M-Disc. Uh, so what's the solution? Well, patch firmware from a modern LG drive into here. Firmware that uh, drives the laser hard enough to actually burn my M-Disc. If that sounds risky, then, well, it is. If you do this yourself and damage something, or tear a hole in space-time that sucks in your reality, then don't blame me. Okay. So I don't normally have this drive on my computer because my case doesn't have a space for it and I don't use optical media very often so I only dig it out when I need it. So some people have worked out how to do some drive firmware cross flashing. So uh, there's some tools available. So uh, I got the firmware from the M-Disc compatible drive and extracted the firmware from it. Um, you have to fix the checksum so that this drive will uh, accept the firmware uh, that's been patched. I did back up the firmware from this drive. It's recommended when doing this sort of risky maneuver. And then simply uploaded the patched firmware. I watched the lights blinking and sure enough, restarted, the drive still works. One issue is that this drive will no longer play pre-recorded Blu-rays because the AACS copy protection is gone. So you can't, the firmware in here can no longer decode pre-recorded Blu-rays, but if you get a software decoding program like any DVD, I think you can still play Blu-rays. Okay, the burn is complete, or I should say engrave, since it does say engrave here on the front. And it seems to be successful. I can read back the data. So 
So the data is now on the ceramic layer. The ceramic layer itself is expected to outlast this polycarbonate disc. So the polycarbonate is actually the limiting factor in how long this can hold data. So that ceramic layer is pretty much immune to disc rot. And with CD-ROM mechanisms being quite plentiful and easily maintainable, this here is the best thing that you can hold to store your own data long term. There's a, an interesting website called Dr. Goff's Tech Zone, and he's done some really comprehensive and interesting research into MDisc. He also found a, an estimate that 95% of these discs will last 530 years, and 50% will last a thousand years. So, last up to a thousand years, well, half of them. He also found that the technology that this disc uses, the ceramic layer, or data carved in stone, as they talk about on the back, doesn't apply to the Blu-ray. Now I do have a Blu-ray here, and it appears to just be sort of pretty normal sort of burnable Blu-ray disc. So I think this is sort of M-disc in name only. Uh, certainly no one claims that these last any particular amount of time. So we'll just set that aside and consider this one here. So I consider this sort of disc to be the best object that you can get to store your gigabytes long term in the most reliable fashion out of any sort of media available. Also you can read back M-Disc on any DVD or Blu-ray drive doesn't need to be anything special in particular, it can be any old drive. So for my test, I'll be uh, getting together 4 gigabytes or so of my most important data to put on here. And I'll put it on here as well, plus some extra stuff, since this is 50 gigabytes. But I'm not expecting this to be any greater than a standard burnable Blu-ray disc. And I'm also going to compare it to a micro SD card, 4GB Lexar, and a 4GB spinning hard drive as well, in this case a ridiculously small one, and a DVD Plus R from TDK, and just a standard DVD minus R, no brand perhaps, all compared. However, I won't be doing accelerated aging. This, all this media is going to be stored uh, properly with important data and so I'm going to have to return every 10 years or so and check everything to see what we've got. So, we'll see how the progress goes. Stay tuned for part 2 in 10 years time.